tangent galvanometer which works on the principle of tangent law. This is a tangent galvanometer which is shown in the figure here. See these are the leveling screws. Here we make the connections. One positive terminal here and the remaining three terminals are connected to three types of coils in this vertical circular frame. It consists of three circular coils of insulated copper wire wound on a vertical circular frame made up of non-magnetic material as abonnet or word. This is the abonnet material. A small magnetic compass needle is pivoted at the center of the vertical circular frame and the connections are made between these two points. If you want first coil between these two points you can connect the terminals. This is for 5 turns of wire. If you want 50 turns of wire, connection is made between these two. If you want 500 turns of wire, the connection is made between these two. First, the levels are made horizontal by using the leveling screw. So, it consists of three circular coils of insulated copper wire wound on a vertical frame made of non-magnetic material as ebonite or wood. A small magnetic compass needle is pivoted at the center of the vertical circular frame. When the coil, this is the vertical coil which is there, when the coil of the tangent galvanometer is kept in the magnetic meridian and the current passes through any of the coil, then the needle at the center gets deflected and comes to an equilibrium position under the action of two perpendicular fields. One due to the horizontal component of earth and another the magnetic field due to the current carrying conductor or magnetic field B set up by the coil due to the current. When the current starts flowing in this coil, there will be a magnetic field along the axis. So, when the coil of the tangent galvanometer is kept in magnetic meridian and current passes through any of the coil, then the needle, this needle which is at the center, then the needle at the center gets deflected and comes to an equilibrium position under the action of two perpendicular fields. The first field is horizontal component of earth magnetic field. So we can consider this as BH. Another field is B. The second field will be due to current in the circular coil at the axis. So when the current starts flowing here, there will be magnetic field at the axis here. So magnetic needle is placed along the axis. So that magnetic field will be another is the horizontal component of magnetic field. Due to these fields, the magnetic needle will come to rest at an angle theta. In equilibrium, we know B equal to BH tan theta, tangent law in magnetism, where B is the magnetic field due to the current carrying coil at the center and that magnetic field at the axis of this coil will be equal to mu naught n i by 2 r where n is the number of turns of the coil r is the radius i is the current and theta here is the angle measured with the horizontal component of magnetic field theta is the angle made by the needle from the direction of bh in equilibrium theta angle made by needle from the direction of BH in equilibrium. So N is the number of turns, I is the current, R is the radius of the coil, number of turns and the radius of the coil. So this will be the magnetic field at center and this magnetic field is B. Another horizontal component of magnetic field will be in this direction. This is B, H. This side will be B. So because of these two fields, the magnetic needle will come to rest at an angle theta. So in equilibrium what do you get? Mu naught Ni by 2 R should be equal to BH tan theta. So BH is the earth's magnetic field horizontal component constant. R is constant and is the number of turns. Mu naught is constant. All these three things will bring it this side and we can write this as I is equal to K tan theta where K value is equal to 2R BH divided by mu naught times of N. And this K is called reduction factor of the galvanometer. So by noting down the value of small angle theta, what the needle is going to deflect, we can calculate how much is the current flowing in the coil. So current can be calculated by using this galvanometer. It is called tangent galvanometer because it is working on the principle of or the law of 
tangent law in magnetism where the magnetic needle will come to rest at an angle theta in the two perpendicular magnetic fields. By using this formula I is equal to k tan theta we can find out the value of theta and calculate the current. This constant we call it as called reduction factor of the galvanometer.